Good morning, everybody. Um, we seem to have had some internet issues this morning, so hopefully uh, we'll stay online okay. Um, today, okay, today uh, in year two, we're going to be subtracting two two-digit numbers um, with exchanges. And then for Gabriel, we're just going to look at some simple taking away using um, dice and drawing dots uh, with felt tips. Okay, so shall we have a look at what Noah's doing first? So Noah's going to be doing two activities today. We're going to show you the methods for subtraction with exchange, and then we're also going to play a little game as well. Okay, so are we ready, Noah? Yeah, so let's have a look at what we're doing. So we've got our base 10 equipment, we've got our place value grid, and we've got um, a number sentence written out, haven't we? A calculation written out in column method. So Noah, we're going to do this calculation, but I want us to show it practically with the base 10 equipment. Now, as I've said previously, if you don't have base 10 equipment, you can use lots of other resources to replicate it, whether it be Lego, whether it be bits of straw cut up, uh, whether it be bits of pasta as well. It will all work in the same way. So Noah, if we're doing the calculation 62 take away 25, what do we need to get out onto our place value grid? Hmm. We need to like place out 62. 62. Go on then, can you do that for me? So how many tens would you need? A six. Six tens, wouldn't you? Good boy. Good boy. Well done. We got them in? Just two more. All right. Well done. And then you need your... What else do you need in there? Two. Two what? Two ones. Two ones. Good boy. Well done. So... In our calculation here, what number are we taking away from 62? Uh, five. We're taking, we're, what number are we taking away though? We're taking away... 25. 25, aren't we? Okay, what column do we start with when we do takeaways? The ones. The ones. Can you take five ones away from there? No, because there's only two. There's only two, isn't there? So what are we going to do, Noah? So we're going to exchange this 10 for yeah. 10 ones. Go on then. So we're putting the 10 back, the single 10, and we're moving 10 ones into the ones column. Excellent. Three more. Three more. Well done. Can we take away five now? Yes. We can, can't we? Should we take five away then? Yes. Five ones. One, two, three, four, five, five. Good boy. Now, we haven't finished our calculation yet because what else do we need to do? What have you just done? I took away some more tens. You took away some more tens. How many tens did you take away? Two. two because that's what's in our calculation over here isn't yeah, it yeah now it makes 37 so we've got 37 left over now then noah mm -hmm. i would like you to do the same calculation but could you write it down for us in the written method yeah yeah so go on then so tell us what you need to do so like two isn't enough so we borrow some from the six and that makes 12 good and now we put the number that's before it, like five. Well done. Yeah, we've got five tens left, haven't we now? Because we've mm -hmm. exchanged one. So we've got 12 ones now, haven't we? To yeah. take our five away from. So go on then. What does that make? So five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So it makes like seven. Seven ones. Good. Perfect. Three. So we get the same answer, don't we? Yeah, Perfect. So we're going to have a go at doing some slightly different ones now. Um, I've got two pots over here. 
with some numbers in. And the numbers that I've chosen will deliberately create an exchange. These are our larger numbers that are going to go at the top of our subtraction, the number that will go first, and these are our smaller numbers. And I've made sure that the ones digit in these numbers is a smaller digit than the ones digit on these ones. So there will always be an exchange involved whenever Noah picks a number. So, Noah? Yeah. Can you rub that one out for me on your whiteboard? Rub it. And can you pick a number from this one, this green one, and a number from the orange bowl? Which one have you got? 72. 72. And can you get one from the orange bowl as well? Mm -hmm. And then you can do your writing then. Oh, you've got 25 again. Should we get a different number? Because we had 25 last time, didn't we? Yeah. For the last one we did. 47 will be good. Okay, so 72 and 47. Could you write that as a, a written calculation, Noah? 72, take away 47. Good boy. So what do you need to do? So like, two isn't enough. So we get 12 again. Good. So now we count mm -hmm. up to 12 because that's mm -hmm. easier. Okay. So 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And, it, and we get 5. Good. So now we take away from the six. Go. We put four in our head and count up to six. Okay. Four, five, six. And what does that make? Two. Yeah, he has done a really good explanation of exchanging, hasn't he? Which is really clear. So well done, Noah. That's fabulous. So we've got our answer, 25. Now we can keep doing this and Noah can keep picking out numbers and creating um, some calculations. But we're going to play a little game now. Um, so Noah, do you want to rub that out? So this would be a great one to play with more than one child. Um, you're going to start with the number 50, Noah. So can you write, hang on, hang on, you're racing ahead. Can you write the number 50 for me on your whiteboard? So if you had two children, it would be the one who could get to the lowest number first. Now you'll notice I've got some Uno cards. I've kept one digit as a one. Just hang on, you're racing ahead, you. And the other number is um, the red cards here where we have five, seven, eight, and four. So they're covered up and each time he's going to be subtracting from 50. So he's going to do 15, uh, 50 subtract 15, off you go. So you could have two children doing this each with different numbers. You don't have to use cards, you could use a dice as well. You don't have to start from 50, you could start from 100. Um, if you're working with younger children, you could start with smaller numbers as well. Good boy. Hang on, think about what you're doing. Think about what you're doing. Good boy. Can you get another number now? So put the five at the bottom of the pile and see what one you turn over next. So what have you got this time? Four. So what number are you taking away? Not just four. Fourteen. Fourteen. Off you go. And then I'll leave you to that whilst we have a look at what your brother's doing. Noah. No, no, no. We're carrying on from this one. So we're going to have a big long line of, of uh, calculations. So you've got 35. Put your 14 underneath. Good. Now then, do you need an exchange there? No, we don't need an exchange on this one, do we? So it's quite good to get in ones that don't have exchanges as well because sometimes children can be a bit keen to do exchanges all the time with subtractions. <laughs> so you've got five now and you're taking four away. Yeah. So what are you going to have? So far. Okay, hang on, think about what you do. 
Goodbye. Goodbye. Well done. So you can keep going with that and see what the smallest number you can get to. Okay, Noah? Yeah. Yeah? Fabulous. So now we're going to have a little look at what Gabriel's doing. Gabriel, do you want to come over here? I know you're playing yeah. with the garage at the moment, aren't you? I was playing. I know you were. Is that so you were doing lovely waiting. So we've got, for Gabriel, two Guys. felt tips and a dice as well, haven't we, and Gabriel? Some paper. And some paper as well. So we're just going to do some simple taking away for Gabriel. So, Gabriel, I want you to roll the dice. Can you roll the dice for me? Not too far. Right, we've got the number what, three. Can you roll it again for me? Why? Because I want you to. <laughs> Oh, what number have we got this time? Six. Which is the biggest number? Six. Six. So I would like you, Gabriel, using your orange felt tip, can you do six dots on here? I want to... No, you're going to use your purple one in a minute. It'll show up better. Go on, use your orange one. Go on, now we'll keep going. That's it. Goodbye. I've got six. You've got six, good boy. So put your lid on that pen. Right, now then, what was the other number we rolled? Uh, three. It was a three, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. So I would like you to cross off three of your dots. Yeah. So just cross off three of them. Is that three? Let's do it a bit of a different way. So I'll so one, two, three, four, five, six, and I'll show you again. Hang on. So I've crossed off one. I want you to cross off another. Now, how many do we need to cross off all together? Three. And how many have we crossed off? Two. Two. So how many more do we need to cross off? Three. We need three all together, don't we? Right, how many have we crossed off now? Three. Three. So six, Gabriel. Equal three. Six, take away three, leaves us with how many? Three. Three. Let's do one more. Can you roll the dice for me? Not so it goes too far. Oh, this time we've got... One. Roll it again. And this time we've got yeah, three, three. So which is our biggest number? Three or one? Three. Three. So you do three dots. Do them over here. Why? So we don't get them muddled with the others. So one, two, three. <laughs> Good boy. And how many do we need to cross out? How many are we taking away? One. Just one. <laughs> so we're going to cross one out. So three, take away one, gives us what? What does it leave us with? Two. Two! Good boy, <laughs> well done! Super duper! So those I are our for today. Um, you can find them on our timetable over at classroomsecrets.co.uk uh, where you'll find I lots more practical I ideas and resources as well. Boys, do you want to come and say bye-bye? Bye! Bye, and we Bye. will see you tomorrow.